holiday season is officially here and mashed potatoes are a huge staple in most households. Several years back for Thanksgiving, I tried a completely new mashed potato recipe and it was a big hit. So today I'm going to show you something new here on Simply Lou. Okay y'all, so to get started, we're gonna go over the ingredients that we're gonna need for today's recipe. You're gonna need potatoes. You can choose the potatoes of your choice. Today I'm using Yukon Gold potatoes. Uh, sometimes I like to use red potatoes. Sometimes I'll mix the two. You can use Idaho potatoes. That's really up to you. Then I've got mozzarella cheese, some Parmesan cheese, some butter, some breadcrumbs, some half and half, and some chicken broth, and some roasted garlic. So typically what I start doing, since potatoes sometimes take a while to boil, I go ahead and I boil my potatoes for 45 minutes to an hour on high heat. Um, that can depend really on what kind of range you have and how many potatoes you're using, but you'll just boil them until they're nice and soft. And what I like to do is I'll boil them in half chicken broth and half water just so that they have a little bit more flavor. Then I'll set them to the side. Then what I'll do is in a separate bowl, I will go ahead and I'll do half of a half and half mixture with a little bit more chicken broth, chicken broth, and then I will um, add in my roasted garlic. Now to roast your garlic, as you're boiling the potatoes, you just take your cloves of garlic. It depends on how much garlic you like. If you don't want as much, don't use as much. If you do, use a lot of cloves. But you just take several cloves of garlic. I think I have five or six in here with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt. You wrap it up in foil and you put it in a 250 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes and it roasts slowly. What happens is a lot of the juices come out and you get that really good garlic flavor. So once all of that is ready, you're gonna melt your butter in your pan with your roasted garlic, your half and half, and your chicken broth. Once that's warm and your potatoes have already been boiled and softened, you're just gonna take that hot mixture and you're gonna add them on to your potatoes. Then you can either choose to mash them by hand or I personally, I cheat. I like to use an electric hand mixer. It beats the potatoes a lot faster. You wanna go ahead and whip those until they're nice and smooth so the potatoes are, are broken up evenly. Once you've done that, then you're gonna add your Parmesan cheese and your mozzarella cheese. You're gonna transfer to a baking dish you can add more butter. Um, I get kind of heavy handed with the butter, so I'll slice butter at the end and I'll stick it in before I bake it. And then I'll top it with a little bit more cheese, a little bit of breadcrumbs, and then I'll put it in the oven and I'll bake it. All right guys, so this has been out of the oven maybe 10 or 15 minutes and it's still piping hot since we baked it. So just look how cheesy the color, you can see how golden brown it is, it's amazing. So, and you can see the little pockets of butter, which is exactly what I want. So here we go. Nice and soft, thick. And that's how we like it. I'm gonna take a bite. Yeah, I'll or take I'm bite. gonna pass a bite. I'll take the bite. To my husband and take a different scoop. Ugh. Oh, it's so creamy. And buttery. Potatoes are supposed to be buttery, y'all. I'll even wait for you to take the bite, the first bite. You ready? Take it together. Well, it's hot. Mm. <laughs> Fantastic as always. Guys, it is so good. The flavor is just ripe not bland you get that really great roasted garlic flavor that cheese is just adds a different dimension it's creamy oh it's just so good the butter <laughs> you got some of the chunks from the potatoes i'm telling y'all what this is gonna be a hit this is totally gonna be a hit you have to try it this holiday season mm -mm -mm. it's too good not to try anyway I'm going to go ahead and dismiss y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in today on this episode of Simply Lou, and we'll see you guys next time.